What's going on guys? It's of course pre-debut to now. Today we are talking about the final group from the Produce 101 series to disband the 12 member group Eyes One. Eyes One was a Korean Japanese group formed by Produce 48. The members include Jang Woon Young, Miyawaki Sakura, Jo Yuri, Choyana, Ayu Jin, Yabuki Nako, Kwon Yubi, Kang Ki Won, Honda Hitomi, Kim Chi Won, Kim Min Ju, and Lee Chae Young. The group was co managed with Off the Record and AKS, which is AKB48 in Japan. Um, they debuted in October 29th of 2018 and they debuted in Japan on February of 2019, and disbanded in April 29th of 2021. First, we're going to be talking about Yunbi, or Kwon Yunbi, was born on September 27th, 1995, being the oldest of the group. She was born in Xinjiang-dong, Gunsheng do gu South, Seoul, South Korea. She ranked 7th in the group and is the leader. She enjoys running and shopping, she plays guitar, and she comes from the company Woolim Entertainment. Next, we're going to talk about the first Japanese purse girl to come from the EMI or AKB48 Sakura, or Miyawaki Sakura, was born on March 19th, 1998. Sakura was born in Kagoshima City, Japan. She trained for six years and 11 months, so nearly seven. Debuted in 2011 as part of the first generation of H HKT48. She has a concurrent position in AKB48's Team A from February 2014 to December 2017. She was chosen before as center for AKB48. She is currently under HKT48. She is the sub-captain of the team KIV, or I think K4. k one or kang k one was born on July 5th, 1999. She was born in Yangsan, South Gyeongsang, South Korea. She was a former K Music Entertainment trainee and also a former HYWY training and she's part of the AD creative company right now. Yana or Cho Yana was born in September 29th 1999. She was born in Gyeongdong, Gangdong, South Korea. She trained for three years and five months. She is a former Polaris entertainment trainee and she's part of the Yuha entertainment. Yuha currently is also having the group Everglow, which I will definitely have to talk about on another video. Next up is Cheyoung, or Lee Cheyoung, was born on January 11th of 2000, her hometown of Yonggun, South Korea. Cheyoung is nicknamed Feather because of her feather-like dance. She has trained for four years and one month. A former JYP trainee, her sister, Cheryong, is part of the group ITZY, which I just covered, so go watch that video. Her concurrent company is WM Entertainment. Chewon, or Kim Chewon, was born on August 1st of 2000, where she trained for 11 months before debut and her win for Eyes One, which she also comes from William Entertainment. Minju, or Kim Minju, was born on February 5th, 2001. She has specialties of playing guitar and imitating faces. She comes from the company Urban Works. Now we get into my bias of the group. Nako, or Yobuki Nako, was born in June 18, 2001, born in the Tokyo Prefecture, Japan. She is also part of under HKT48. She trained for 
four years and ten months. Uh, and she's coming from EMI Records, which is HKT48. Hitomi, or Honda Hitomi, was born on October 6, 2001. Hitomi is from the Tochigi Prefecture, Japan. She trained for four years and two months, debuted in AKB48 in 2014 in Team 8, and still resides there to this day in part of the company King's Records, which is part of AKB48. Yori or Jo Yori was born on October 22nd, 2001, where she was from Busan. She trained for nine months before debuting as part of Ice One. Her company is Stone Music Entertainment. Yujin or An Yujin was born on September 1st, 2003. Yujin is from the Daejeon, but currently is living in Seoul, South Korea. She trained for a year and four months before debut, and she comes from Starship Entertainment. Wu Young or Jang Wu Young was born on August 31st, 2004, making her the youngest member. She trained for about a year and two months, and she's come from the same company as Yujin. Also, Starship Entertainment is part of who debuted Sistar, so another video you should check out as well after this one. Now we're going on to the pre-debut to now segment, which is basically Produce 48. Eyes One was formed through the reality show Produce 48, which aired on Mnet from the 15th to the 31st of August of 2018. The show was built as a collaboration between Korean Produce, 40, Produce 101 and Japanese idol group AKB48 group. Out of the initial 96 contestants, the final 12 were announced. Which, now that show has been deemed in controversy ever since X1, where it's been shown that it could have been manipulated ratings where some members shouldn't have been part of the group, like Lee Cha Young. And it's sad to see that like something as a group like Eyes One had a tainted image because of because of rating distributed. Now we're getting on to their first EP or mini album. Colorize. The group first extended play came out on the October 29th of 2018 with the single La Vienne Rose being the lead single. A debut showcase entitled Colorize Shokan was held concurrently with the album's release at the Olympic Hall in Seoul, which the tickets for the show were sold out within a minute. And with La Vienne Rose getting a couple of music show wins and being the first win for the group, it got a lot of um, wins and it did really well. On the Guy on Album chart, the EP went second with over 225,000 copies sold and platinum certified by the Korean Music Association or KMCA. The group released their second EP, Hardest, on April 1st of 2019. Domestic pre-orders for the uh, uh, EP exceeded 200,000 copies. Upon its release, it topped both the Gaion charts and the Oricon charts and sold more than 130,000 copies in its first week of sale. And the EP went platinum by October 10th. And the lead single Violetta peaked at number 18 on the Guyan charts and number 5 on the K pop Billboard Hot 100. And also number 8 on the Digital World charts. On January 6, 2020, Eyes One members, agencies, and CAG ENM reached an agreement for the group that would resume their activities on February 
they released their first studio album, Blue Mist, and its single, Fiesta. On February 23rd, the album broke the then record for the highest week for sales on Huntio for the album by a girl group with 300,000 and 356,000 copies. It was also the first album by a girl group to surpass 300,000 copies, marking Hatio's history. Bloomis went platinum in KMCA and on April 9th, selling more than 390,000 shipment figures. It just did really well. On June 15th, of 2020, Eiswin released their third EP, Honoric Diary, and its lead single, Secret Story of the Swan. The single's music video was originally scheduled to be released on the same day, but was postponed to June 16th. The group held a comeback showcase to promote the EP on Mnet's second channel, M2. Honoric Diary peaked at number two and has recorded over 510,000 sales on the Gaion chart. It is the first one of two albums by the girl group certified double platinum, the other one being twice as more and more. On the 13th of September, Eyes One held their first online concert titled Or Honoric Theater. On October 21st, the group revealed their first Japanese studio album, 12. The al album debuted at top of the Oricon charts. On the 7th of December, Eyes One released their fourth and concurrently final EP. One Reeler, Act 4, accompanied by its lead single, Panorama, the EP debuted at number 1 on the Guyon charts.